First at five, new information about a man shot and killed by law enforcement. We have learned Derek Clark worked for a nonprofit focused on transforming lives and trying to keep people from returning to prison. Good evening, I'm Laurel Porter. And I'm David Mulco. Clark was 24 years old when he was killed over the weekend in Clackamas County. Mike Benner joins us from Milwaukee this evening with an update, Mike. Yeah, David, we are near the North Clackamas Aquatic Center. This is awfully close to the scene of the deadly shooting. And this park is where family, friends, and supporters of Derek Clark will gather this weekend to demand justice for Derek. 24-year-old Derek Clark, a teacher in training with the Inside Alliance, a nonprofit focused on transforming lives and ending recidivism. According to Clark's profile on the nonprofit's website, he was introduced to the Inside Alliance while incarcerated at McLaren Youth Facility as a teen. The nonprofit posted on Facebook, Derek was a good person who cared deeply for his family and friends. He was funny, smart as hell, and really wanted to make a difference in the community. It makes what happened over the weekend all the more upsetting. Law enforcement tells KGW that just after 12.45 Saturday morning, police suspected Clark of driving under the influence, and they tried to stop his vehicle, but Clark took off. Authorities say Clark eventually drove into a ditch. Police then gave him commands to show his hands, a detail corroborated by a neighbor we spoke with. I heard, um, you know, just put your hands up in the air, please surrender and uh, walk towards Railroad Avenue. So, and they just kept repeating that. According to investigators, Clark got out of his car armed with a handgun. We're not sure if he was pointing it at anyone or even holding it, but at some point, an Oregon State Trooper and Clackamas County Sheriff's Deputy shot and killed the 24-year-old from Tigard. The deadly shooting of Clark a man who appeared to be turning his life around, will now be reviewed by a Clackamas County grand jury. All right, the nonprofit that Clark worked with declined an on-camera interview saying that they are deeply grieving his loss. I've also been in touch with family, and I can tell you they are not speaking publicly yet, but they may later this week when people gather near the North Clackamas Aquatic Center to remember Derek. Laurel. Thank you, Mike. And we have an update tonight on a shooting that happened early Tuesday morning in Vancouver, sending one man to the hospital. Police arrested Jacob A. Cantrell and charged him with assault after he allegedly shot a man who he told police was breaking into his car. Blair Best joins us now. And Blair, the court documents contradict what police said happened yesterday. That's right, Laurel. Initially, police said Cantrell claimed a man was breaking into his car, so he shot him. But according to court documents released today, it suggests that a confrontation between the two men led up to that shooting. Now, police did not include that information in their press release yesterday. According to court documents, 33-year-old Jacob A. Cantrell shot a 44-year-old man. Cantrell tells police he heard the man driving by his home in the neighborhood of Southeast 148th Avenue and 1st Street with a loud exhaust and confronted him. Cantrell says the man then pulled into his driveway, grabbed one of his shovels and started damaging his car. It was then that Cantrell says he he shot him several times without warning. When his pistol jammed, Cantrell called 911 to confess. He told police he shot someone and that he was, quote, stressed out. Police say Cantrell changed his statement multiple times, and the man he shot suffered eight gunshot wounds. Police say they smelled alcohol on Cantrell when they arrested him and charged him with assault in the first degree. A judge set Cantrell's bail to $500,000 Wednesday morning. Neighbors say they felt unsafe around Cantrell for years. I've been anticipating something to happen over there for a long time now. He's very strange. He is up on the roof um, with his lawn chair. He's in the middle of the street throughout the night making noise, got whips and hatchets. And we're, we're all afraid for him to come back into our neighborhood. I've been here 33 years and then I spoke with my husband. It might be time to move because I, I don't want to live by that by him. He scares me. Now, Cantrell is currently being held in the Clark County Jail and will be arraigned July 1st. Now, his attorney and father were at the courthouse today, but both declined to comment. Now, at last check, the man who was shot is still in the hospital in critical condition. David? What a bizarre story. Thank you, Blair, for that update.
Well, a federal judge has sentenced an Indiana man to a decade in prison for his role during the Portland protests. Malik Muhammad pleaded guilty to 14 felony charges for tossing Molotov cocktails at police and vandalizing downtown businesses. Now, in the summer of 2020, Muhammad traveled with his girlfriend from Indianapolis to Portland over the course of several months. Prosecutors say he provided baseball bats to rioters, threw homemade explosives at officers, and smashed windows. Muhammad expressed remorse in court and said that at the time, he wasn't taking his medication. Nearly a year has passed since a dangerous heat dome killed dozens of people in Oregon. And officials in Multnomah County are preparing 18 cooling shelters in case dangerous heat returns. Officials say this year they'll open more shelters with smaller capacity throughout the county. It is unknown if those shelters will open this weekend. The county decides on a case by case basis whether to open them depending on several factors, including daytime and overnight temperatures. You can call 211 to find the one nearest you.